Will we find treasures big or small at the Peddler's Mall? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Misty and Mark, it's a shopping day. Well, we're going to uh, New Albany and probably to Clarksville. So it's gonna be a day of shopping just cause we want to. We just kinda wanted to. We haven't, we haven't gone shopping in a while. We're looking for the toys, the Hot Wheels, the stuff that we enjoy looking for. Don't have to buy anything necessarily. So we're just kinda, kinda, just gonna kinda go and see what's out there if we can find anything so that is on the agenda today um, a little bit of driving we're gonna be going down um, in kind of near the Indiana Kentucky border kind of just north of Louisville and I've we haven't been there in a while we haven't been there in a while so sometimes it's been pretty good sometimes it's eh. but I think we're gonna eat lunch at one of my favorite places and that is Lady Tron's in New Albany. So I'm excited to eat at Lady Tron's today. And that's the thing that I'm most looking forward to and spending time with Mark. And so you guys are gonna come along with us on this vlog. All right, first stop of the day is the Salem, Indiana Goodwill. This is actually a pretty decent Goodwill. I've been in here. I like to, whenever I'm down in this area, I like to come in here, but the prices are great. They have a lot of things on the shelves. So it's typically a good one to pop into. Magic doors. <laughs> Some nice chairs. If I don't grab a cart, you know, find stuff if you don't grab a cart. When you grab a cart, lands in. I kind of like that for me. Will that fit me? Is that for a child? I don't know. I might try that on. All right, it was an extra large for a child. I tried I tried it on, it did not fit. Oh, look at all those books. Look, there's antiques. Price guide. All right, so we got the music right above us. So I'm probably just going to look real quick and if I see anything, then I will, I'll show you. I'm not seeing anything so far, just as a quick glance, but if I end up getting something, I'll let you know. All right, I found this guy, and I liked him. He is a, he's a pharmacist. He's got a little bit of a boober on his pill, but it, there's his face, but he is 1963 Esco, and there are some listed for like over $200. I think that's a little inflated, but for $4.99, I'm gonna get him. He's chalkware. There's a marking on the back. So we're gonna pick this guy up. sale here. Thank you all for stopping. Thank you. These little flower pots. Big urns. Oh, Mark, you knocked over a pillow. Lots of pillows. So this is a thrift store where they also have, they're having a little yard sale today. There's some wedding stuff. There's the old people on the swing. Well, we'll see. I, well, there's records. I'll have to check out the records. But if you see anything else, and I'll let you know if we bought anything. You see anything over there? I don't. All right. All right. We are in New Albany, Indiana. We are at the Goodwill. Oh, we'll see if we can find anything at this stop. Okay. Mark said that we're actually in Floyd's Knobs. Floyd's Knobs, Indiana. It's fun to say. It is fun to say. And apparently they're going to have Knob Fest here for too long. That sounds like fun. Okay, we are not getting a cart. We're gonna keep, what's this fuzzy thing? We're gonna keep with that tradition. Oh my goodness, that's a Bigfoot hat. What? It says squeeze here. Oh, 
Look, his little arm waves, Mark. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that one waves, too. Do I need this Bigfoot hat? It's critter cap. Big eyes. I mean, we don't need you, Bib. But I'm kind of thinking that... Are you like a Beanie Boo kind of thing? He's $3.99. That's pretty darn cute. Hey, this Goodwill looks chock full. You know, Mark was asking, do you remember this Goodwill? And, you know, I, be, I go to so many of oh, no. them that go. they all kind of blend together. So while I know I've been here, I don't necessarily have it memorized if it was good or not. That's what I'm trying to say. But looking at the shelves, the shelves are nice and full. What is this? Passion Potion from Cove Haven. I don't know where that's at, but apparently you can get you some Passion Potion from there. Okay, I had to turn on pro video because the music is quite loud in here. But the shelves are full. Just not seeing anything. They have a lot of babies. There are a lot of babies at this here Goodwill. And even these guys and some bears over there. So that is one thing. If you like the babies, this, they've got you covered here. Let's see. I'm just not seeing... Or Coke bottles. I have a lot of those at the shop, too. But, and this old lady sitting right here. Oh, there's Koopy on a unicorn, but it's broken. Koopy Your little on Koopy on a unicorn, but it's left in. 99 cents, but his little, his little horn's broken, so that's not going to work. His little angels are so bored sitting on that shelf. All right, well, not seeing anything. Look at all those Koopy faces. I know. Look at that one. Want one? In the sailor suit or whatever. Well, that's got some, they got some hair. Well, Mark got himself a shirt. That's all we got in the Goodwill. But we're gonna go over to Lady Tron's and we're gonna eat first. And I can't wait to show you Lady Tron's. I've showed it to you before, but if you are in the New Albany, Indiana, you you must go to Lady Tron's. It's the best. I'm excited. I always get the same thing when I go because it's so good. Ah, all right, Lady Tron's is next. And I want to say too, you know, here's the, this is the way I'm like my outlook on everything. We enjoy going shopping and just seeing what is out there. I don't have like if I find something for resale, then I then I find something. I'm not putting the pressure on myself that I must find something i have to find something i have to find something so we're just having a fun time and if i don't buy anything i don't buy anything and if i do that's great too so far i bought little people for future grandchildren that don't exist right now but you know it's just fun we're just having a good time i guess that's just the long and short of it we're not i'm not going out here and shopping because i have to doing it because we want to that's the difference it kind of definitely changes your whole mindset when you're shopping and you're like, I have to get something, I have to get something. And I think that we need to quit putting that pressure on ourselves as resellers. I know that it's hard, but we could, we, we could just go because we want to. And Michael, I was talking to Michael and Richard had said something and it made so much sense. And it says, never... I can't, I'm going to say it the wrong way, but don't make your hobby, don't turn your hobby into your business. And there, there's a lot of truth into that. You know, a lot of us, this is something that we love to do. And when you turn it into your business, it can taint it just a little bit. So I think if you're giving yourself the mindset that I'm just going out, we're going to, I'm going to spend some time just thrifting and going into antique stores and seeing things that I think are cool and taking off that stigma of it's work, it's work, I got to work, I got to work, I got to work. I mean, I'm filming right now, I'm filming a vlog, but I enjoy, I enjoy this aspect of it and feel like that I'm taking you guys along with me. Turn. Okay. But anyway, that's just me getting, I'm getting off my soapbox now, but just trying to take things different mentally. Does that make sense? Does it make sense to you, Mark? Sure. Okay. That's good. 
So apparently Knobfest is the weekend of the 17th. We're actually, we won't be, we're going up north that weekend to explore another county in Indiana. But Knobfest is the 17th. I don't know anything about it, but I will put a link to Knobfest. Come and visit this county. What county are we in right now, Mark? Orange County? No. Knob? Knob. Floyd's Knobs. We're in Floyd's Knobs. I think it's Knobs County. Well, I'll put it in the description and I'll pop it up on the screen, but all right, we're gonna go eat. So we are now in the downtown area of New Albany. And fun fact, New Albany was named, um, the founders came here from Albany, New York. So they they named it New Albany when they settled here. Um, a lot of steamboats and things like that are during that time. But we're here at the farmer's market here in New Albany that they have on Saturdays. So we're gonna walk around the farmer's market for a few minutes. It is a bustling farmer's market too. Live music. You got you've got non-alcoholic slushies, veggies, natural soaps, ooh, coffee. This is the burst burskers brew. Oh, oh beautiful flowers. Marks, do you want to try some coffee? Mark's going to try some coffee. So he tried it. He liked the hyper-caffeinated. All right, so he's getting the hyper-caffeinated one. Uh, so there's just all kinds of great things. We've got the live music. We've got some fresh coffee and some marinara sauce. Woo! For your eyes. There he is. <laughs> got all kinds of organic meats. We've got bakeries. Oh, there's more coffee over here. I don't know if Mark saw there's more coffee. Blazing trail mixes and honey. This is a nice farmer's market. All kinds. It is a great farmer's market. It is. It's so nice. So crossing the street, there is Lady Tron's. I'm hoping it might be really, really busy because there's not very many seats in there. But they do have picnic tables outside, so that's good. But it's so good. It's so yummy. This is a new little store, too. I'm going to maybe check out when we're done. But we are going to go to New Albany's. Lady Tron's. So good. Okay, so we are inside Lady Tron's right now, and what I always get is the Leia, which is brie and Munster grilled cheese with apple butter on cinnamon raisin bread. It is amazing, and they've got great specials. Here's what their special is today. They got great soups and specials and that, but oh, it's so, so good. Mark can't decide which one he wants, so they've, they've given them him the, the coin of indecision. So, which one? So, Star Wars, Darth Vader. It's Starbucks. It's Starbucks. Okay, so he's going to flip the coin. Starbucks! Okay, Starbucks. Starbucks it is. Yay! So Mark got the Starbucks. We've got collard greens and sausage and five bean chili with a corn with a, like a homemade corn cake. We both got the vegan pasta salad. This is the Leia, which is like a, a sweet grilled cheese. Oh, it's so good. All right, gonna try this pasta salad. Is that good? Can I do the blondie? Oh my god. The basil. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so here is the Leia. And we've got brie cheese with apple butter on a cranberry toast. It's amazing. 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 So, Mark, Lady Tron's. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, our bellies are full, and we're gonna go just right next to the Antiques Attic. So here's Lady Tron's, and right next door is the Antiques Attic. So let's go in. There are their hours. Uh -huh. 
Perfect. I always have such nicely curated items in here. Six dollars. My belly is full of delicious food. Oh, look, here's a calendar plate from 1916. Oh my gosh, cracked. Mad Magazine. This is, this is, um, Namaji pottery. Not, it's, you know, it's not made by the Native American people. It's actually made in the Midwest, but Oh, actually, this one's Colorado Springs. The House of Cars. Made in Colorado Springs. It's $15 for the frog and the dish. Their windows are always nicely done, too. When we, before we leave, we'll go outside and, and look. It's just all so nicely curated. Here's another, this one's another calendar plate. Um, oh gosh, what does that say? 1909 for $10. I think these are lovely. This one's 12.50. This one is from Richwood, Wisconsin. This one's 12 and it is from McCollum Brothers Company. Look at the butterflies that are on it. Isn't that pretty? 1919. I just love those. I don't have a big resale value, but I think if you put them on, you know, use them as a display. This one's 1910 general merchandise. I would flip out if I found a calendar plate that was from Webb's Dry Goods. This is Grocery Market. Now I'm like, I hate shipping plates. This is 1928, but man, I just, I really like these. I don't know, I'm probably making a mistake by not buying them, but there's some antique blue milk glass I hand painted for six dollars. I'm gonna think about some of those plates. I don't know. But here, twelve fifty. Can I double my money on them? Probably not. I do like them though. And I wanna see people hang them up in their house. I'm gonna make that proclamation. I am gonna get this though. Oh no, look at these. A lot of times they have clowns on them. This is Carmen Miranda. So $9.50 each. Oh, see, there's clowns on that one. Look at this beautiful bowl. Michael would like this. $75. This has Michael Todd written all over it. Oh, there he is. There's the clown. But yeah, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. These little toothbrush holders are cute. That one is 110, the little boy. We've got the bear and the little Dutch people. And look at this little Kermit the Frog. Jim Henson, Kermit the Frog. It's a toothbrush holder. It's $45. That, I love that. She looks like a California pottery. She's $12.50. It's windy. Isn't she cute? It's a windy day for windy. Oh my goodness, look at you, little fryer. Department 56. All right, here we've got a little Viking club foot with the foil for 45. It's an amber, it's $10, which is a great price. It's blown glass. Actually, I think I'm gonna get that too. I like that. They have other mid-century glass here. This is also Viking right here. The club foot and the persimmon for 30 a console. I like that too. This is rainbow glass, I think, for $22.50. This is Viking, the six petal. Ugh, clown. Clown, you clown. Oh, little home co bears. Hi, Koopies. Look at you. You're different. 350. I've not seen a little lion. G 
chain family. This is just the baby of him, but I like him. We're going to get him. We're going to look back here. I love this piece of furniture right here. Four fifty. I love that. And then, let's see over here. We've got some milk glass and some Westmoreland. And the bridal baskets, Westmoreland, seventeen fifty. That's not a bad price. Oh, here's a little Joseph girl. I like these. You are Florence ceramics for twenty five. You're also Florence for twenty five. Made in Pasadena, California. These are the Joseph, the birthstone girls. I usually don't buy the numbered girls, but I like the birthstone. She's February. She's seven fifty. She's in great shape. So I am going to get her, put her down here next to my little tiger, lion, tiger, tiger, lion cub. All right, you are a music box, Joseph, for $10. You are November. They also look to be in good condition, too. She's 27. This is a confirmation doll, or figurine. Mark's talking to the owner about a sign that I'll show you in a minute that's really pretty cool. She's neat. Let's say she looks Florence. Now, Pasadena, California for 12 She's really pretty. I like her. Alright, look at these. I'm probably going to get these. They're $15 for the pair. Where they are the Arnell's mold of the fork and spoon. So I'm going to grab those for 15 for the pair. Look at the salt pepper shakers. Look at this little cat here. He's, looks like he's got a little teeth out. <laughs> These are Inesco little white kittens. They're five dollars. Got a little bit of boobers up around his ears, but a little shoe shine. Those are Shawnee. They're, are, they've got their knives. They're ready to murder their food. We've got down here. Ones down here. This is single kitchen prayer girl. Some bunnies. Look at all the little home co elves. Not elves, owls. They've got some great advertisement pieces. Isn't this is great. I mean, look at that. The baby powder with the ducks. The flamingo. The uh, machineless wave. Look, the red spot. Not Target. That's the red spot. Look. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm dying right now. I love the kitchen witches. They're from the 1980s. Oh my gosh, it's six fifty for the set. Yes, she's the condiment. And we've got the salt pepper shakers. Oh my gosh. They're, they've got a really nice holiday section. But Mark found these and I think they are cute. They're red wear. they got the googly eyes They're from Florida. Those are really cute. But I really like these angels. I have a collection of them. She's $10. She's got a little bit of wear. No, I'm selling all the ones that I have. So, gosh, she's missing her partner there. But I do like those pulpy paper mache angels. But again, I don't have to buy it. You know, I can admire it. I do love these. And this one's 115, which is not a bad price. We've got all these blow molds up here. I love this one. This one is $80. Oh, I love it. This one's a nice one too. I have several of these, but I'm going to be selling mine here very soon. And look at this, 125 for the devil. Oh, that cat one is also 125. They have amazing holiday pieces in here. Just great, great things. Look at you. Merry Christmas for $20. He's still in his original packaging. It's great. Can't prove that this is like, but look at the pinstriping up there though. I mean, that pinstriping. Oh, that's. Yeah, that is amazing. It all fits. It does. That is amazing. Her windows are always amazing too. Look at this chair. Look at that. Do that, you see that face? 
carved in there. Oh. Man of the North Wind. Michael. Michael would love that. And then over here, she's got the Merry Mushrooms and kind of the retro. It looks so good. Right I'm next familiar. to Lady Tron's. We're at the Clarksville, Indiana Peddler's Mall. A Peddler's Mall who has the most legit speed bumps that you could ever imagine. Hang on. Jeez. <laughs> Be careful. All right. We did get a front row parking spot though. All right, let's go see what the Clarksville Peddler's Mall has to offer us today. Peddler's Mall, Peddler's Mall. Will we find treasures big or small at the Peddler's Mall? Do, 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 do. Let's go. I think they should really hire me to write their jingles. There's those big, that, that's a legit speed bump. They don't want you to speed at the Peddler's Mall. They're open till 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, it closes at six on Sundays. Typically I walk right in here and I can typically find a few things in this here case or I have before in the past. Oh look, there's a South Park watch for $10, Mark. What? South Park watch. Oh. I like that. Um, let's see, not necessarily seeing anything today, but I do like that South Park watch. I would wear that. There's a couple like these. I love these. Oh, there's Elvis. But I love these booths. With oh, there's Pokey. I just bought Gumby. I need that Pokey. And there's a purple nodding cow. Flocked purple nodding cow. That looks like a pencil sharpener of Donald Duck with lenticular eyes. For $26. That is great too. This is a red uh, blown apothecary bottle with the stopper for 26. So, man, I just, I love looking through all these things. There's just all kinds of different things that you can find at, at a peddler's mall. Typically, I have found some decent things. I Now, whenever I go into antique malls, I don't always like to look in the cabinets because it's just kind of a time suck thing and I want to hold things in my hands. But I have typically found some decent things. And these look the Furbies. Those are the McDonald's toy Furbies. We got a Christmas. I think that is an older one for 45. That is not a bad price. It's got newer lights on it. That one's broken and it's a newer one. But that doesn't seem like it's a bad price for that little guy right there. I don't know. Oh my goodness, look at these little bisque. <gasps> He's showing us his pay pay. Sir, put it away. My word. Oh, okay. I gotta get somebody in here. I gotta get those. And I like those. Those, 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 those are good. Okay. We need a Mark. I was too zoomed out. Will you go? We need 2066. Okay. And I like that bunny. Look at those. I believe that those, they're that just the good. stoppers. They're good. But look at these. That little boy showing us his pee pee. Oh, he does. Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to get those. She's got, well, I know he is 17. He is five. I thought they were both five. So maybe I'm not. Hang on. But. Those, they're just the stoppers, so that's why I'm like torn. They're, they're missing their bottles. This place does have a lot of video games and things like that, so it's really great because Mark likes to look at those things, so it's, it's a good mix. They've got a lot of Pokemon cards and Funko Pops and a lot of things that a lot of people, a lot of people could come in and look at. It's not just all, you know, vintage and antiques. So that's what I like about this place. It's just a lot of a lot of uh, variety. Just always looking for things that are different, weird, unusual. Let's see. There's some home co elephants. Mm. These bears. That bear looks like he's going fishing, but I don't think he has his fishing pole any longer. What? 
No, I I never got that. I always wanted that box of crowns, a big box. Oh, there's Elvis book here too. Commemorative edition. But I always wanted that and I bet you built in sharpener. Yeah. Have a built in sharpener. Yeah. <laughs> I never did. Did you have a uh, a speak and spell? Yeah. I didn't. I have one now though. I got one now. These cards are so tall. It almost comes up to my to my neck. Not really. But they're tall cards. But mattresses. Mattresses. And there's always the prepackaged food. But there's more there's more to this flea market than that. You know? You just gotta get in here and look. And it's massive. So you can push your really tall cart down the aisles and you never know what you're gonna find. If you get real tired, there might be a husband back there somewhere, maybe laying down taking a little bit of a nap, but we've got like new things too, but there used to be in this section, they used to have like a bargain area and you could find things for like a quarter, like they've taken that part away. They've got carpets and furniture and mattresses and like, I don't know, like I guess dollar store, like those are all from Dollar Tree. So we're not going to look at that stuff, but we will try to find us some vintage. There's also like doors and some building supplies and that sort of stuff. See, it's just so much fun. There's just random things. These are, these are antique for $10. A little, probably, they probably had little stoppers on them, little vanity jars, $10 a piece, but there's just random randomness. Some old, some new. You just, this is what I love. I love just being able to just look through this stuff. This is gorgeous. It's missing the glass. It's $30. Um, some more dogs. Made in China dogs. Ooh, you got teeth. He does. Oh, this is cute. The cookie jar for 44 but I don't know. Let me know. Do you just like looking at random things? You just never know. You never know what you're going to find and never know what you can get and find and use in your home. These are redware or terracotta, not redware, terracotta. Maybe for your baked potato. Hmm. I don't know. I just love these little mini, these little mini swangs for $10. We've got Oh, he's got a boober on the bottom, though. Here's one in satin glass. Also for 10. Oh, look. Blasphemy. We got Charles and Camilla. Oh, the engagement. There's a lot. Look, there's Charles. Ooh, is that Andrew? We don't want him. Oh. No. No. Let's break that one. Ooh, put you back up there, Andrew. Oh, there she is, the queen. There is Prince Philip. Oh, I was like, who are you? <laughs> You're not Prince Philip. <laughs> That's the, no. Aw, there's Kate and William and the future king, I think. It's probably their firstborn. Okay, I like that Ziggy up there, but he's $10. I think I can get that. Well, this is just randomness, and I love it. I'm all for it. Oh, here's a topsy-turvy doll. She's $10. I like that. Look at that mangy cat. She's fun. There's her friend on the other side. It's kind of cute. I don't think we're going to get her, but it's kind of cute. Okay. Let's keep, keep looking. See? This is what I need. We're close to Louisville, so when we go to the Derby, you got to get a Derby hat. Yeah, you. Oh, you just knocked. Mark's gonna try one on. Actually, fits you. No, it doesn't. It does a little bit. You look, you look nice. Good job. Oh, now that's a new use for bowling ball pins. You can make a whole nativity scene. I have never seen that before. See something new every day. Hey, this booth. That there, girl. She's got uh, antlers for arms. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I guess this is the whole thing. She's hooked up to this chair. But 
This is an interesting booth. They've got some sculptures and lamps. Oh, I don't like that. But yeah. Oh, look. She's under pressure. That girl is. I don't know. I like this kind of stuff, though. It just is. It's someone's. It's very expressive. So, like, look at her. Next to a clown. It's kind of neat. Honestly. All right. Well, we have a small little bit of a haul here. Mark got him a couple Hot Wheels. I got a Mount St. Helens little cat. A little teddy bear planter. I don't know. He's cute. A little unicorn. Uh, remind me of the 80s. I got this for me. I don't have this color in my glass orb collection. I got a really cool vintage tablecloth. A squirrel family. Look at these itty bitties. Cupies. They're $1.99. I got those. Cabbage patch wrapping paper and some brass candlesticks for Emma's wedding. We got quite the line, but that's that's our haul. All right, now we're basically right across the highway at uh, Vendor's Village here in Clarksville. Mark said that we cannot go to the trampoline park, although I pee my pants going in there. You get to a certain age and you can't do a trampoline anymore. Those days are way gone, way gone. But Vendor's Village, tends to be decent sometimes so we're gonna we're just gonna see what we can find today when you walk into vendor village you are going sure. you mark's gonna help this guy load up his truck but when you walk into vendor village you get vintage vibes i will say that this small is great they have i'll show you over here where mark is helping that guy, but they have a lounge, and the lounge is pretty neat. I'll have to show it to you. Walk past all of these video games, and then here is the lounge. Isn't this great? Sit down and play chess, watch a little TV on the vintage TV set, on the vintage couch. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, these are not for sale, but I love that one. And Bozo, he's an acceptable clown. I like the unicorn. We always like Jesus, the ballerina, but we don't like you. I do like you, though. Okay, walking in, we've got a lot of booths, which I typically always find something. I mean, look at all these Maryland books. I think I have all of those. I think I have all of those. I collect biographies um we got a little Fenton bird Fenton Bell's 25 I think that bird is 45 oh, I'll have to show Mark the A-team van I don't know that we have that one Seven ninety five. so he'll have to check out he'll have to check out he did find him oh we've got the, we have a lot of these but he did find him a couple cars at the other place as well, but he'll have to look in here. Oh, I like this mini pearls Christmas at Grinders or Grinders Switch. It's twenty dollars. Oh, mini pearl. It's just fun things to look at, things that you just don't see very often. Oh, I don't like those clowns though. Look at the little twins, babies. There's a little um, leprechaun. Hop along Cassidy, some Hall and Fenton. Oh look, you need these for your um, your Russian Santa, Coca-Cola Santas. Those would probably work. Oh, Cabbage Patch. Look at that. That Barbie's pregnant. Midge. Her, she's she's pregnant. Who's the dad? Is it Ken? Ken's. Is it? I guess that's the dad down there. What's the, I think Todd was the other boy Barbie. Oh, I like these. Oh, I like her. Oh, she's $30, but she's fabulous. What? Oh, I do. We'll go over there in a minute. But look at the, the enamel dishes. These are beautiful. I love those. It's $100 for that jadeite compote. These, I want to say, 
it's ten dollars for those i like that that bottle is beautiful too at costa boda for 120. we have a left in january for 28 hand tooled leather bag oh my gosh look at the little what are those little figures of some sort of lego houses but mark says we need to look over here oh my goodness yes look that wool boy back there he's got a baseball bat he's gonna get that clown later on oh are you busy tonight okay oh there's Holt howard mices oh clown those are joseph okay future miss usa and look at the little animal kingdom little animals there's a globe in there too mark little doggy britches there's a, a micro mosaic trinket box all right I gotta I can't see the prices on a lot of these all right that little earring holder is 10 these little hillbilly guys their tag is turned around I see all kinds of itty bitties in there okay this is booth s30 I'm gonna need an s30 we were just laughing because there's a little girl in the next aisle with her grandpa all you hear is saying, Grandpa, I need that pregnant Barbie. He's like, I just can't afford it. She's like, but I need, I need that pregnant Barbie. So we were just getting a, ch a chuckle out of that. Look at that. That there's Colonel Sanders ends. Sorry, Scott Michaels, is $85. I like you, but I don't know if I like $85 for that coffee mug. I like all these little, the little mouse band there. And the little strawberry shortcake dolls. Those are fun. And that little bendy witch. And look, it's Elsie, the cow's baby. All right, here is a booth who is a viewer. This is booth 575. I'm gonna check out theirs. Look at this little mousy eating corn. This is for your cigarettes. I think I'm gonna get this little cigarette holder. I can go in my tiny treasure sale. But you put your cigarettes right there. That's your little ashtray. Oh, there's the fates. All right, well, we are, Mark's tired. We are leaving Vendor's Village. We just, I just, I got like two or three things, hardly anything. I got, I didn't even show them. Well, I got, I got that little dog cigarette holder and I got three little like goober pixie guys for $3 each. And I got a June, left in June angel. That's pretty much it. So um, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog today. You know, we just had fun. I didn't have any expectations. We were just looking. One just, day out. Just wanted a day out together. And it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for shopping along with us. We really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys. Do you love shopping? I love shopping specifically for vintage and antiques. But sometimes it's hard to get out and about with our busy lives. But I tell you what, there is a new way to shop for vintage and antiques, and that is at virtualantiquemarketplace.com, otherwise known as VAMP. There are over 9,000 active listings by over 200 trusted, vetted sellers that is guaranteed to ship your items within three business days of your purchase. It's fast, it's fun, it's all curated, true vintage and antiques over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I am Misty and I am one of the owners. We would love to have you come over, become a member, it's totally free, and jump into these live sales, static sales, support small businesses over on virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Come on over and join in on the fun. Red Hot Mama, Red Hot Mama, you're the one we need. Red Hot Mama, some charmer. Yes, indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Spain valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town.